In this video, I'm going to be telling you why the Renegade 4 Plus is my favorite Eurorack sequencer to date. So I've actually had this for a couple of years now, and you can use it with the voltage block, but in this video, I really wanted to focus on using the Renegade 4 Plus as your master clock main sequencer, not needing anything else. So just this. So the Renegade 4 Plus is a four track sequencer. It can either be four CVs, two and two, which is CV gate, CV gate, which is how we're going to be using it today as our main thing and then four gates. If I was using it with four gates, I would use these four to send no value. So I can use this with four tracks, but I only have two voices here, so we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna do a real quick run through of this module. I have an in-depth tutorial on this module if you wanna check that out, but this is gonna be like a hands-on music making. That's how we're gonna do it today. So we need to set this to two and two, which is gonna give us CV gate, CV gate. These numbers up here belong to these buttons down here. So I'm gonna move these all to the left so we can set them to zero. 1 and 3 are where we're going to send our node data from, and then 2 and 4 is what is going to send the trigger. So in 1 and 3 we have access to node and glide, the probability and repeat do not work because these belong to the gate tracks. Vice versa, the note and the glide don't work when you're on the selected track. The track button allows us to access all of these functions. In this menu, it's where you're going to choose your time division, the length from 1 through 8, sequencer mode, forward, reverse, pendulum, which is forward and backward, and random, pulse width that belongs to our CV tracks, scale, which is one of the main reasons I love this thing because of the way that you can play with scales live, tempo course, which is our main tempo, and then a finer tempo. That's it, guys. It's so straightforward. Oh, and you can save on this thing, so you can actually save up to 16 patterns on this thing but to be honest with you guys I never really exceed these four because it just requires a little more button pressing and honestly I mess with it live so much that I just use like the pattern as like a starting point I don't really depend on it too much and that's another thing that a lot of people struggle with with modular is like really being able to build on a patch after you turn it off I always like unpatch every time almost every time like about 90% of the time after I'm done jamming because I can't like turn this on and like have it all patched up and be like oh I just can't really work that way but I know a lot of people like keep their stuff like patched even like sip log so you know modular can be approached in many different ways but I feel like this is a great centerpiece and you're going to see why because it kind of like takes control over everything else you know it makes things work together nicely all right so enough talk let's get this thing plugged in first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our audio out we're going to go rings into clouds to make everyone mad and then that's going to go into my channel one in the mordex data the data is going into my l12 mixer shout out to cc sounds for sending that over it's been amazing um that's how we're recording the audio for this video as well so you know trying to step it up for you guys so you guys can get the best experience watching these videos and you know we can keep going with this so we are going to go out of our basimulus interitas into the dreadbox echo and then out of the echo into the mordex data So now I'm going to send a gate from the variegate 4 plus into the basimulus. I'm going to do gate 4. And then I'm going to plug in my other gate into the rings. Strum. And we also need to send audio out of our rings into the cloud. I'm going to use the odd out for that. Press play. That is very fast. I'm going to go to track, tempo course. Just like that. So we have our gates being sent, and what's also cool is that we get a visual feedback for when each gate is triggered. Now I'm going to send our CV values. So track 3 is connected to 4, I'm going to send my pitch value to that. And then we're going to do the same thing with track 1 and rinks. We're going to add more tricks to rings. So I'm going to switch to my gate, go over here to probability, and turn these to the right. I'm going to change the voice over here on the basimulus. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's speed up that track. So our trigs are over here. I feel like this track is kind of slow. I'm going to go to track and mess with the division.
Alright, so now I'm going to add some CV over here. No values. some CV to some values. Save that. Now that we have something saved, we can move on to our next sequence. So let's say I'm going to turn off a few gates. And I'm going to change the notes. Now we can add some repeats to our gates, which is another awesome feature of this module, which is like a, what do you call it, ratcheting. So you just saw how easy it was to get something started and going and just adding on it, playing with it live. I love this thing. So let's go ahead and save that second one. We're going to hold it and press that. This used to light up when they would save. It stopped doing that for some reason, but whatever. We have that. We're going to save that. That's supposedly saved to two. So now we can... So what makes the sequencer so playable is the scales and how you can interact with them while you're playing. So I am on a scale, that is the only reason this is sounding as gorgeous as it is. Because we don't have to manually go in and set the note value. It's like when you're on a piano, you know, you're gonna hit those wrong notes. When you're in a scale, it's already quantized, so you can't hit any wrong note. And that's why modular is like so relaxing and like activates a different part of my brain. Because when I'm playing piano, like, you know, I have to know what I'm doing. With this, it's like the music kind of makes it 
itself and then the sequence makes itself and then you can just focus on everything else you know like audio effects you know tweaking all this awesome stuff that modular allows you to do so if i set both of these to the same scale because you can't set them to different scales and then it's going to sound terrible right so you need to make sure i feel like that's the main thing that people don't know when they get this and they're like i don't know how to use it it's too complicated you have to make sure that both of your cv tracks are on the same scale because it should do that automatically but i guess it doesn't just in case you want to use this for CV. So it's really like not really a downfall. Like you can have that set to a different scale for different CV values. So that's pretty cool. And then you can even have your gate set to a different scale. So like it goes in pretty deep. Like this is a very powerful module. I want it in black now. <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my music channel. It means a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying life and you know, doing it in these hard times and staying making music. I have a few cool surprises that are coming. I have a lot of stuff that I need to work on. So yeah, hopefully I can get some more time to make more of these type of videos. We're all trying to get used to this new lifestyle that is like the new normal. So yeah, so stay safe, stay making music and stay sane.